Hey guys, welcome back to the Square Box Games. Today we're going to be looking at a fun game down under called Bluey Scavenger Hunt Game. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Bluey Scavenger Hunt game is a fun little game aimed for children three and above, and you can play with two to four players. I would say an average game takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play, maybe a little faster or a little slower, just depending on your, on your kids. Uh, so let's open up and see what's inside the box here. Aside from the instructions, you've got the board game, or the board itself, uh, a time token, a die, 12, little toy tokens here, a clock timer, 60 cards divided into four different piles, surprise, find, think, and play. And then one really neat thing about this game is that it comes with 12 different characters to play as. Uh, you would expect to have Bluey, Bingo, and then Mom and Dad, but it actually comes with a lot of the other characters as well, which is fun for the kids. So let's go ahead and go through how to set up the game before you would play. You're going to take your four piles and put them on their corresponding logos on the board. Take your time token and put it on the start time on the clock area here. And take your toy tiles face down and put them on the toy box section. Now pick your character out. We're just going to pick two random ones here. We'll do Bluey and Bingo since they're the most popular. And you can put them on any of the four square or any of the four start spaces. They don't have to be the same space. So let's just stick them on two different ones here. So that's how to get the game set up. Let's go through an example of what a turn would be like. On your turn, you roll the die and move that many spaces on the board. And we'll go through the six different options you have for your turn. So we'll start here on find. If you land on this space, you draw the find card here. And it'll have you go around your house and find something that matches what's on the card. So for instance, we have right here something round. So you'll have to actually get up. You'll start this timer and run around and try to find something in your house that's around and get back before the timer runs out. If you make it, you get to take one of these toy tokens, put it face up in front of you. If you don't make it back in time, you have to actually take one of your tokens and put it back on the toy pile. If you land on a think space, grab one of the think cards. Now what this is gonna do is ask you a bluey related trivia question. Read the question, for instance, Bluey has a friend named Coco, what type of dog is she? You'll think about it for a minute, say your answer out loud, have one of the other players check the instructions for the answer. If you get it right, take a toy token and put it in front of you on the board. If you land on a surprise section, draw a surprise card. Now these surprise cards, could, they're gonna have you do something kind of surprising and playful it could be good, it could be bad, so they're a little bit risky. So for instance, this says, go to any space a friend is at, so you can move where one of your friends is on the board. If you land on the balloon, that's the play section, or the play pile, you'll want to draw one of those cards. It'll ask you to do some sort of playful activity. If you're able to do that, awesome. Grab a toy token, stick it on the board in front of you. If you land on any of the four start spaces, you get to choose any one card you want from any of the piles and follow the directions. If you land on one of the clock spaces, move the, the clock token forward clockwise around the board. At any point, if the clock token makes it all the way to the bedtime section on the board, the game's over, everybody loses. But if you guys are able to take the last toy token off the toy box and put it up in front of you. Congratulations, all the players win. You have successfully avoided bedtime. All right, guys, now we have a little scavenger hunt for you. If you can try to find that subscribe button, be sure to hit it as well as the notification bell to see future content when we release it. Thanks for stopping by, guys.